what's up guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is Reni. So the other day I was on TikTok, scrolling through videos, looking for something interesting, and I came across this. And my first reaction was, uh, there is no way this is the same person, I mean... How could this be the same person? <laughs> of course I've watched a lot of videos of people putting on makeup and uh, looking way too different and I was like, uh, I know it happens, I know the power of, there is a lot of power in makeup but I did not expect this to I'm sure we can all agree that this is a dramatic change. This is a dramatic change. What? How? So many a times you'll find men saying they prefer their women natural. Like they prefer women who do not put on makeup, even though they'll end up cheating on you with people who put on makeup. But anyway, and some will even go as far as saying that they'll take uh, girls for swimming on their first date just so that they can see their natural face. They get really mad when they realize that girls don't really look exactly the same as they look with makeup on. So I was really surprised. I, so I wanted to know why, what, what happened, you know. I wanted to know the backstory, I wanted to know uh, the context, I wanted to know what happened. I am a very curious person. I don't stop at something until I get to the backstory. I want to know details, I want to know everything, what happened. So I became so interested in her story and well, I did my research. Now, you won't imagine what led her to losing all her teeth. Can you guess? No, not an accident, not drugs. She lost all her teeth from pregnancy. Pregnancy. I don't know why every other time the universe keeps on giving me reasons as to why I am not yet ready for a kid. And now we are adding this one onto the list. I mean, I could possibly lose my teeth for a mini version of me. <laughs> Respect to all the moms out there. You guys are dedicated. Alicia, who goes by Princess Glitterhead on social media, recently shared a TikTok video of herself encouraging people with dentures to show what they look like with them in and out of their mouths. Alicia kicked off the challenge by popping out her snap-in dentures and then smiling for the camera. The video has been viewed more than 14.8 million times. And thousands of people have taken to comments to both praise her and ask her questions. In a follow-up video, Alicia opened up about how she ended up getting dentures at the age of 34, saying it was her pregnancies that caused her teeth to decay. I can go from this <laughs> to this. Hi, I'm Alicia. I'm 36 years old and I got these snap indentures when I was 34. I honestly didn't know that you could have issues with your teeth during pregnancy, so I decided to look it up. So you guys, have you ever lost your teeth during pregnancy? Or do you know somebody who has lost their teeth during pregnancy? Is it preventable? Let me know in the comment section below. I only know of the common symptoms. One thing about pregnancy is if you're going to have kids, you have to take everything that comes with it. And uh, <laughs> it's quite scary. I mean, I watch a lot of YouTube videos and weird YouTube videos. And you guys, I have seen childbirth. Have you, have you seen childbirth? It's not what you see in the movies. I can assure you, it is not what you see in the movies. It's a whole different thing. <laughs> it is... It's scary. It's terrifying. You guys, it's scary. 
I had no cavities my whole childhood up until I was 18 or 19. Nothing. I had ceiling caps put on my natural teeth to protect them because they had never had a cavity, she recalled. She and her husband got married when they were 20 and had their first baby a year later. That's when her dental troubles started. My eye teeth broke off during that pregnancy and it was the first time that I started to have really bad dental problems, she said. You couldn't see it on the outside. You could see it when the tooth would fall out and you would look inside it and there was nothing left in there. Like the baby just took everything out of me. Alicia said she had her second daughter when she was 24 and after that pregnancy she spent over $10,000 on a full restoration to save her top teeth. I went to the dentist every single week for a whole year and got two 3 piece cemented bridges. All my upper root canaled and crowned with another metal partial. After 9 years, one of those bridges obsessed, she added. The whole thing had to come out and I was ready for dentures. In another clip, she detailed how she got her mini implants and snap in dentures in just one day, saying that was part of the appeal. I went in there with 13 natural teeth. They pulled them all. Give me 10 mini implants, 6 on top, 4 on the bottom. Immediate same day snap in dentures. It took two and a half hours, she explained, adding that she was awake the entire time. Wow. And she noted that it was actually the shots that hurt the worst. Okay, when it comes to pain, I have a very low tolerance for pain. I am so scared of injections. Like when I was young, every time I got sick, I never said that I was sick because I knew sickness meant hospitals and hospitals meant injections and injections meant pain. I was not ready for that. I know it's, an, it's not a good thing to hide when you're sick, but I was scared <laughs> and I still am. And uh, another thing I like about uh, her is that she knows how to clap back at trolls. I know, it's so sick, isn't it? Just like... <laughs> <laughs> if this is sick, I don't want to be healthy. You're right. I should just walk around looking like this all the time. This bitch doesn't care. I don't care if you don't trust me. And she's really nice. She answers questions. Hi, you mean like this little guy? Or like these? Ah! So this, really quick, this is a mini implant. This is a pin that my husband had when his crown fell off. So you can kind of see the difference. Mini just means that it's one step in one piece. Standard implants are two separate pieces and two different steps. So mini implants, they prefer to put these in at the same time as extraction so that they can put it into the same bone tissue area. Hi, and yes, to answer your question, I am Alicia, the girl with the snap indentures. I have mini implants. And I like her transparency. I like her honesty. She's not even afraid to show off her teeth. Very few people are able to do that, especially with all this social media bullying out here. That's why you guys, you need to learn the backstory of people. You need to know the context of the story. You need to do your research. You need, to, you guys, before you start trolling people on the internet, you need to learn things. Eh? You need to do your research. You know, you're, back, you, you're, you're there trolling people. You don't even know what happened to them. You don't know why they're in that situation and you're there trolling them. I don't, I don't really understand what's wrong with some of these people, by the way. I don't understand with what's wrong with people. But anyway, some people are just terrible people. So, so I've learned a lot from Princess Glitterhead. I did not know anything about dentures. I only knew that old people wear them. And uh, I am actually surprised that young people also wear them. 
for many reasons. I didn't know young people could lose their teeth, honestly, apart from when they get into an accident. I, I didn't know there could be conditions, but now I know because I did my research thanks to Princess Glitterhead. Yeah, so I am now educated, I am informed. So, And uh, I've also known that pregnancy can possibly make you lose all your teeth. Yes. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing to know. Oh, and another bonus thing. She likes dogs. Okay. Can you say hi? We're at um, Lilydale letting the kids play and the dogs are just people watching. And Elsie and Lady don't want... Bitch, I'm a mother! No drama! So I like her even more. Anyway guys, that's it for today. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!